very honored to welcome Sabine with us as well. Um, she has more than two decades of experience in the luxury hospitality industry, spanning locations across Europe and Asia. She's now heading a five-star resort, uh, Santiburi, in uh, Koh Samui. She worked as a general manager at uh, Lumeridian Bali before, and uh, previous role placed her in sales, marketing, management departments with some groups like uh, Starwood, Accor, and Marriott. I actually reached out to Sabine to invite her to be a panelist at our webinar and um, basically was asking her how is she doing in uh, Samui because Samui was always a challenging destination anyways and so with this challenging and uh, difficult times it became even more um, difficult. So we were talking about uh, posit keeping positive and uh, keeping morals up and uh, um, stay strong together and uh, just keep a moral high with uh, the team as well. Thus, the topic uh, came up. And uh, thank you, Sabine, for joining us today. Thank you, Anna, for having invited me. It's a pleasure to be here. So keeping your hotel team motivated and the moral high, this is, in my eyes, one of the biggest defies in crisis times is the majority of our teams are confronted with a lot of fear, right? So the fear for life safety, uh, the health of the, their own, the family and the friends, which is jeopardized when we talk to our teams, you know, they're worried. And there is the fear of existential security, salary and employment, which became uncertain in those times. And very often there is no clear communication and no timely visibility of how long this ambiguous situation will last. So the very first aspects to be addressed in this uh, subject for me is the health. As we said, it's showing our teams that we really care about their lives. We not only uh, want to ensure that their workplace is applying the highest safety and hygiene measurements, but taking the time to listen and comfort our teams, to give them all the needed instructions, trainings and tools that show the employee that we have an authentic interest in their well-being. This is valuing and highly motivating as it builds trust. The second point for me is, as you mentioned before, the existential security, the salary, which definitely is not a very easy one because very often during crisis times, this is out of the hands of the general managers, right? So ideally, we find another angle, we find a common interest for both the employees and the company as a kind of an employment protection strategy. In my case, we worked out a very strong property maintenance plan, shifting the staff and as such the productivity cross-departmental to prepare a resort and in a cost-efficient way, a resort recovery plan actually. Uh, or prepare prepared plan to prepare the resort for the business bounce back, which we hope will come in July. This preparation plan, where all employees, they join forces out of a personal interest, which is linked to the existence, is very strong. And, um, and this generates the third point, what I want to talk about, this generates encouragement, positivism, and they believe in a promising future. A plan like this, this where everyone worked it, uh, was worked out together with the team, fosters as a constructive and it fosters a constructive and optimistic post-crisis vision, which recognizes every individual. It secures the existential need and it strengthens the team spirit as well. It triggers vivacity and a powerful mind, which I think are all pillars which are highly essential for a strong moral. So please let's take care of our people who in hospitality are our most important asset. I'm very certain that every company can find an honorable and ethical solution for their associates to withstand crisis times and value our employees' commitment with new, inspiring and motivational factors according to the respective site or unit where you are. I right, thank you for the attention. <laughs> 